everyone. This is the Elta's How To series. I'm Vera Tilner. And I'm Michelle Kremser. We're here to give you tips and tricks on how to teach more effectively. Hi, I'm Vera Tilner and I'm here today with my friend Leon. We're going to show you my favorite warm-up activities. past, I used to do a small talk at the beginning of every lesson and then dive right into the main content. Now, while small talk is a great opportunity to build rapport with your learners and give them an opportunity to switch from their L1 into the target language, I never really felt it actually warmed up their brains or helped them focus on the learning experience. So when I came across Brain Gym, I thought that was exactly what I'd been looking for. So Leon and I, we're gonna show you three very easy exercises, which are great for your learners and the teachers. So exercise number one is neck roll. What we do is we bring the chin down, take two, deep breaths and then move the chin from the left to the right. Leon is going to demonstrate how we do this. So bring your chin down, make sure your shoulders are relaxed, take two deep breaths and move your chin from the left to the right. This exercise is fantastic to relax the muscles of the back and the neck, which are usually pretty tight when we work at a desk or work on the computer. Now, when you do this exercise, it'll enhance your vision and the listening, which we need uh, to, to do reading tasks and for the speaking exercises. Exercise number two is called the lazy eight. You put your left hand thumb in front of you and do an anti-clockwise movement. Make sure you follow your thumb with your eyes. Repeat this movement three times and then switch thumbs. And at the, at the end, you take both thumbs and repeat the same movement. Leon, take your left thumb, move it in an anti-clockwise direction and make sure you follow your thumb with your eyes. This exercise is fantastic for your learner to relax and to focus on whatever you're gonna do in, in your lesson. So you do it with your left hand thumb and with the right hand thumb and you repeat the same movement with both thumbs. Okay. It's very important to always start to the left. You do the anti-clockwise movement first and then clockwise. Okay, thank you very much. So the third exercise is called cross crawls. We start, this is a three part exercise. We start by lifting our leg and the opposite arm. Now, depending on your fitness level, you do this five to 10 times. Then you continue with bringing your right elbow to your left knee and the opposite side. And finally, you bring your right hand to your left foot. Okay, so Leon, we start with the arm and the leg. 
right arm, left leg, and the opposite. You repeat five to 10 times. This is a fantastic activity to connect your left brain and your right brain. When your left and your right brain are connected, this enhances the whole brain thinking and creativity. Thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed these exercises and please leave feedback in the comment box below. Thank you. Are you a teacher in an organization or looking for an organization like Eltas? Please contact us at info at eltas.de. Also, if you'd like to participate in one of our videos, please contact us at social media at eltas.de. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Gracie approves the little girl, don't you? That's my baby girl. Can you speak? She doesn't want to. <laughs> Bye.